Right, today I'm going to talk to you about more tarot cards. My first one is going to be the High Priestess. Now, I've got a good description of the card, but all cards look different and are designed differently. So, I'll read you from the tarot workbook all the information I've got and I'm learning. And I'll tell you about mine. Now, this is my High Priestess. The High Priestess sits on a throne located between two temple columns. The black column of Boes, representing negative life force, and the white column of Jaechin, symbolising positive life force. These are the two pillars of King Solomon's temple and remind us of the historical connection between the Tarot, or Freemasonry, and the Kabbalah. And you can see mine the white column and the black column. Okay. The High Priestess wears a silver crown showing the presence of the waxing and the waning moon with the full orb in the centre. Now, mine doesn't have this crown, but on the top of the pillars you've got the crescent moons and right behind her you've got orbs. Yep, so that, I'm gathering that is mine, so mine is showing it that way. A long cloak of blue and white flows down from her shoulders to the floor and seems to become like a shimmering stream. Man was wearing a bite a white one, but it's not the same, so it's just the way the cards are designed. On her breast the high priestess wears a solar cross that unifies male and female energies, and across her lap rests a scroll of sacred memory inscribed with the word Torah, meaning law. In an art typical sense, the High Priestess represents divine intuition. Now, mine's not holding a scroll and doesn't have a cross on her chest. She has a crescent moon and is holding flowers. Okay. The spiritual interpretation on the Tree of Life, the Tarot path reaches to the very peak of creation. The first Sapphire. Keep the the crow. Apparently, the high priestess herself has the element of untaintedness about her. She is virginal. She has the potential for motherhood, but has not yet brought the fruitation, the possibility of giving birth, of bringing essence to into form. In a tarot spread, you are able to use your power of intuition. To receive higher spiritual inspiration, you may also find yourself tapping deeply into early memories. Incidents from the past and situations of conflict, there is an element of reserve and mystery in the High Priestess. She is guarding sacred knowledge. You might now recognise something that has been hidden. You have the feeling that you are being guided from within as she points to the ethereal level existence. The reverse meaning, which is it this way, this indicates a tendency towards indulgence, superficially, superficial superficiality and conceit. There is little intuitive awareness here, only an apparition of the external forces operating in everyday life. There are no secrets or subtlets in your world at present. <laughs> Self-development lesson. You are opening yourself to the intuitive potential and he heading your higher spiritual guidance. <laughs> Keeping calm and tranquil and trust your inner voice. Oh, sorry guys, I know I can't read some of the words and it might make no sense to you and I'm really sorry and I do apologise. <laughs> Next card I am going to talk to you about is the Empress. This is my one. Okay, so the Empress sits upon a cushioned throne in a rich fertile garden, which mine does. She wears a crown of 12 stars and a white robe decorated with flowers. 
There's the 12 stars. Mine's not white row, it's pink, but it has got flowers on it. And Scholes a scepter indicating her power and authority in the manifestic world. And not, she's holding corn. Her heart shaped shield is inscribed with the astrological symbol of Venus. Behind her is a grove of crisp trees, also sacred to Venus. And in the foreground, we see a field of wheat sacred to Demeter and Heather. The river of life flows through her domain. We are reminded that every day, every living creature that comes into the world is born of the mother. The Empress provides us with the power to live and multiply to give full expression to our dreams and our creative potential and to operate the essential harmony and well-being associated with the deepest and most profound levels of existence. Well, that's my little one. You can see the river in the background. The spiritual interpretation. The Empress is warm and beneficent. Laden with the child. Laden with child, she is symbolic symbolically the mother of all, since from her womb will flow all the potential images and forms capable of existence in the entire cosmos. Mythologically she is the mother goddess and she represents the force of love and nature on a universal scale. This card signifies stability and harmony and prospect of growth and prosperity in all aspects of your life. It also represents fertility and the likely prospect of marriage. You are reaching a stage of considerable personal fulfilment and your world and personal relationships are filled with joy and contentment. In a business context, you are entering a phase associated with good opportunities and productive outcomes. You are happy with your life. Now it's reverse meaning, which is this way. You are engaged in unproductive activities and are not tapping into the full creative potential. Where you are dissipating your creative energies in a manner that may well produce disappointment or failure. Be aware of ostentation, poor judgment and the power of seduction. Postpone major, business, postpone major business transactions and take the time to think more carefully about them. The self-development lesson. You'll win me, within you the potential to open your heart and mind to the power of intuition and rational decision making. You can bring wisdom and understanding into your everyday life. This is a time for productive action. Like again, I'm going to apologise for the bad reading. I've tried my best with that. I'm dyslexic, of course, because most of you have seen my videos, I've told you that before. I hope you've enjoyed that, and I hope you stay tuned for more tarot cards from me. So, thank you, and bless be everyone.